Good morning. Good morning. Painter and decorator at your services. I feel like the cap really confirms that you're ready to paint things today. Out for the day, paint the sheet. Builder's tea coming up. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning, and today is a very exciting day. Today we are painting the bedroom. We're kind of ready to get stuck in, actually. Adam's had a bacon sandwich ready to go. I've had a shower and a hair wash and now I'm currently trying to decide whether to eat breakfast first and make a nice avocado and halloumi thing. I don't think I can deal with you being hangry while we're painting. That's my actually my main concern so is that half an hour in I'm gonna get really grumpy. I'd rather you have breakfast. <laughs> okay let's honest. make some breakfast. What's happened here Lucy? <laughs> I just fell. <laughs> Slipped on the sheet and then reached out to my fridge. <laughs> Cherry tomatoes went everywhere. You know it's gonna be a good day when you get the perfect avocado. Lucy is making a lumen avocado <laughs> muffin with a celeriac puree. <laughs> There's no celeriac. <laughs> Ever on Master what even is celeriac? Ever on Master Chef has celeriac puree. It's always a puree. Avocado puree. Extra piece of halloumi for Greg Wallace. Ah, this is probably burnt. A AKA me. Right, fed, watered. Caffeined. Ready? Adam's so unenthused about doing this. You're excited this I morning. I just don't Who was the one looking up rollering tutorials well, on thing. YouTube first thing this morning? I want to do it well and I'm nervous I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to step back and it's going to be like <laughs> streaky and rubbish. <laughs> I don't think we can do it that badly. So my logic is if I don't do it, I can't do it badly. <laughs> I don't think you can do it too badly. Especially because we don't know what a good wall and a bad wall looks like anyway. We haven't got a clue what we're doing. We'll find out in about six hours. No, we won't. It's going to be good. The good wall or the bad wall? Are you a good wall or a bad wall? What's that? It's from the Wizard of Oz. Oh. But she says, are you a good witch oh. or a bad witch? I'm ready to paint. Right, we need to go and cover the bedroom up first. Get all the dust sheets out and stuff. And make sure the cat is not in the vicinity because we don't want to turn her into a paintbrush. <laughs> Right, dust sheets. Are we going to do dust sheets on the floor or newspapers, do you think? Mm. Hopefully if we've got enough dust, dust sheets, sheets, we can just use those. Ah, good morning, Flo. You're not going to fit too well in this painting situation today. One little furry paintbrush coming right up. Yeah, this is my paintbrush. <laughs> <laughs> we still have so much stuff just like on the floor that just doesn't have a home yet. Just constant little piles of things. It's all my stuff. We, you say? One of Adam's most prized possessions. I don't even know where it came from. I bought it for myself. If you're a Simpsons fan, you'll know what this is. And we're always trying to find a good place for it. And he thinks the perfect spot is now. The shed. The shed. You might get a shed tour later. Bedside table coming through. While Adam is wrapping up, moving all his bits and bobs all over the place, let me explain the vision. Because there is sort of one kind of basically this wall which sits behind the bed as you might have spotted in one of the last vlogs got a few little swatches up here where we were testing out a couple of different peachy shades i'd seen a couple of rooms on pinterest which had kind of like a peachy vibe going on and really really loved it i thought it looked so cozy and warm and really liked that idea so we're going for a peachy wall over here if i show you the different swatches that we've done um i've tested them in different lights and stuff as well on pieces of wallpaper so we're pretty happy with the one we've chosen can you guess which one drum roll please Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Ta da it's this shade this is they're all Valspar colors because I've done a bit of work with Valspar over on Instagram but this is the one we've chosen which is a shade called Beachy Peach if you're interested this one's peach syrup apricot something sheer apricot this one um, Beachy Peach is the one we've chosen and I did like these two but I think they're a bit too dark and intense for quite a small room um, so this one is called Sunbaked Brick and then this one is Retro Peach and then keeping it very simple for the rest of the room really the rest is basically gonna be white um we're not doing the woodwork today the skirting boards and stuff we're gonna do them another time we're just gonna do, get the walls done today we did read on a painting decorating site this morning that you're supposed to do the skirting boards first so we've fallen at the first hurdle really but that seemed like a really boring thing to do so we want to do the walls first obviously we haven't really done any decorating to this house yet and we just kind of wanted to get stuck in, have a bit of a go. Any painters and decorators out there, this will probably give you the major heebie-jeebies because we're probably gonna be doing loads of stuff wrong. Getting your frog tape out. 
<laughs> so we're gonna we are gonna like sort of take them off and try and keep them neat adam pointed out this morning i was sort of like oh we don't need to bother because we're gonna do them at a later date blah 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 but obviously adam said we don't want it all covered in splodges and looking all messy and stuff but we're gonna do like all the woodwork and the wardrobes and stuff at a later date today's just a bit of fun really we just want to brighten the place up a bit and make it our own would you go like yeah that. exactly that so then you get a really straight line but you have to make sure obviously it's pressed in really tightly and, and neatly very sticky very well sticky. You, it's like masking tape here he goes using his tape feeling confident yeah good <laughs> and flo is being very helpful climbing the walls <laughs> she's just checking that they're all in good shape ready to go She's like, hmm, this could have done with a little more sugar soap. I feel like every bit of footage I show in these videos just makes this place look like an absolute madhouse. We've got the goods. Two rollers, two trays. Doing a good job there, Adam. <laughs> Keep going. Whoa! Oh, it looks so nice. One of those bits on top. Give it, I have to give it a good stir. We need a stick, really, to give it a good stir with. You got a utensil we can sacrifice. What, a kitchen utensil? Yeah. We need like a big long thing to stir it with. The last ever look at this before we paint it. Wow, I'll miss these cream walls. <laughs> it's gonna be a cream Christmas in the Dragon household. Say goodbye to the magnolia. And there's the paint. It's going. Bye. <laughs> Imagine it's a bolognese. Gloopy. Give it a good stir. <laughs> oh, it's such a nice colour. I'm so excited. I think it's going to look really nice. I hope it does. Someone's excited. So <laughs> Don't be. It can't go wrong. Ready with the transformer roller. Give us a little demo. Show us your technique. Your technique. <laughs> I learned online this morning. If you're right-handed, you start on the right-hand side. Yeah. And you start about a half a roller away okay. from the edge, so about here, and you go, you slop it on, and you go... Slop is the technical term, like I that, think. Kind of right, well, what could possibly go wrong? Tommy, Tommy Alan Titchmarsh is mate. <laughs> What's gardening? Walk, handy oh. Andy. Who's Handy Andy? From Changing Rooms. Could we George Clark? Are you pour him? I'll pour it. Let me get a nice little close up. Looks like a delicious angel delight dessert or a cake mix or something. Oh, here we go, right. First roll. I'm gonna do it. Ready, go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's nice. Well, then you're gonna spread it around. That's really nice. Good rolling action. Thank you very much. I'm painting, Mom. Let's do this. <laughs> not impressed she's like I hate the peach I'm leaving well that didn't take very long it looks lovely I really really like that color it looks quite sort of like some baked terracotta -y. it's really nice do you like it I love it good good progress I'm gonna start doing the these little bits here that we can't quite reach with a roller I'm gonna go in with a paintbrush and do these boring bits now Check out the wall. <laughs> We're getting there. It's a little bit patchy in places. Only one made your argument. Me. <laughs> just one. So that's not bad. Lucy going. keeps stepping in paint and blaming me for it. Yeah, but uh, it's the stuff that you put on the floor. Adam put a, a paint lid and a 
a wet roller on the floor. So obviously it got trodden on. Doesn't <laughs> sound like me. I think that's the biggest argument we've ever had. <laughs> Look where you're going. It's all I'll say on that. Top painting tip, don't step in the paint. <laughs> Tip Lucy, step in the paint to learn that one. I already knew you shouldn't step in the paint. I doubt the patience for the little fiddly paintbrush bits, so I'm going to start painting some of these walls uh, white. I knew you'd get bored of doing these bits. <laughs> I was giving it maybe 10 minutes tops. What shade of white did we get? Uh, blanc de blanc. Blanc, the white of white. Blanc de blanc. So it's officially the whitest white money can buy. I think we just got bored of looking at so many different shades of white, and that was the one that was on the top of the pile, so we just picked that one. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's exactly what happened. Yeah, you can see most of my life decisions are made by getting bored and then deciding to do oh, geez, something else that's entirely. What happened on the girlfriend hunt. <laughs> there she is. And I think I can hear a little cat. Oh, there she is. Where are you? Oh! Hello. How you doing? Thank you. Next. I've made myself a little mini, a little mini sample plate to take up on the stepladder and do the really boring bit at the top. Okay, peach wall is pretty much done and dusted. Well, first coat anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's time for the white. Adam's gonna get cracking with the white and see how we get on there. I think that's gonna make such a big difference. It's gonna brighten the room up so much compared to the really like, dingy, yellowy colour that's going on right now because it's making the peach look a bit weird. But I think against white walls it's going to look really nice. Can you reach? Just painting the bit that no one will ever see. Yeah, stretch Armstrong up in the corner over there. <laughs> Gotta get every bit. So it's taken about three and a half hours. How long do you think we've been painting for? Yeah. Coming up to maybe like four hours, but we have finished the entire first coat, which is so great. Adam was like, oh, should I go make lunch now? And I was like, no continue and then that can dry while we go and have some food so it's done only one maybe verging on two minor arguments but we did it really liking the color of this it's come out beautifully might look a little bit bright just on its own i think but once like the bed is pushed up there we've got a nice little shelf on the wall i think it's gonna look beautiful it's come out really really well you can definitely especially see the difference on this wall where the sun's hitting it, it just looks so crisp and fresh it's even kind of like lifted the room up a little bit all the woodwork is looking a bit yellowy like particularly the lampshade just looks so gross and dirty now um but the walls themselves just look great so time for a little food break i'm not really actually sure i've definitely got paint in my hair oh i made me a little coffee Barista. Wait, wait for the pattern. Are you doing latte art? Yeah, look at that. Oh, you barely did one. It's actually quite easy to do it with the oat milk. Oh. <laughs> not that I'm not grateful. Oh, <laughs> it's barista, not the Rio star. Maybe. Oh yeah, look at that. Whoopsies. <laughs> Maybe, that's why. Are you covered in it as well? Oh, look at your sleeve. <laughs> <laughs> Good job that jumper was already wrecked. That's actually quite sick. Oh yeah, not too bad though. No, the other considering one, I mean, someone was really your left, enjoying putting... Left ankle. Where? Yeah, the back. Well, considering someone was enjoying putting wet paint on the floor, neither of us have done too bad. <laughs> 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 that is the cutest thing I think I've ever seen. She looks so sweet. I'm afraid Adam's going to come and sit here to have his lunch now though. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be finding tomatoes for the rest of time. Back to it, getting back to it. Gonna do the second coat. Oh, it looks so good. Oh, even just seeing that wall looking like bright and crisp is so nice. Buzzing. Can't wait to do more paint. <laughs> we've got half left there, maybe more left there, so. Yeah, we're gonna have loads left over. Quite handy to have it's it though. Why so choose a proper room for sure. Mama.
Hello. I don't even know where to begin. Let's just start from the very beginning. A very good place to start. So it's actually a couple of days later now since decorating day. That was at the weekend and today is Tuesday. And I thought I'd just come on here and share this news with you because I feel like the whole point of this vlog series is to show like the realities of buying your first place and it would be all very well and good for me to just show you a load of cute homeware and show you the cute decorating and me and adam being very cute doing cute things but actually i think it's also important to share with you <laughs> the really shitty side of this um so that's what we're gonna do right now so this morning didn't think much of it uh, we had an appointment with an engineer who was gonna come over and install smart meters for us if you don't know what a smart meter is it's basically this little electronic panel that hooks up to your gas and your electricity meters and it basically shows you how much you're spending every single day on gas and electricity it's good for like budgeting it's good for just being aware of how much energy you're using um and it makes you a little bit more accountable for like turning things off and it was all going very well until i heard a uh, uh, Miss Wood? And I was like, oh no. And I came downstairs to basically find this engineer like lifting our cooker apart um, because he identified that we have a gas leak. Classic, love that for us. Incredibly dangerous, might implode the house at any moment, don't mind us. We've just been lighting candles and naked flames willy nilly. Being absolutely none the wiser because we can't smell anything. Normally if you have a gas leak, you can smell it and it's quite a strong smell. We haven't smelled anything. Hi, editing Lucy here. Um, I just wanted to quickly add this in. We do have a carbon monoxide detector before I stress anyone out and worry you all. Um, we do have one. So we were covered in that sense, but still a happy surprise. And it's still not sorted, but the engineer should be here soon. He had this like thermometer looking thing hooked up to our gas meter outside and he was like if your gas was normal and good and everything was going well um, the level of this gauge should stay level um, but if you've got a leak the pressure drops I guess I guess it's pressure um, and there it went all the way down and I was like well shit so he has turned our gas off because obviously it's very dangerous to have a gas leak um, so we now have no heating and no hob for the foreseeable and it's currently minus three degrees outside so it's gonna be a chilly few days and Adam is now on the case to try and find us a gas engineer to come out ASAP but obviously busiest time of year because everyone's heating is breaking. It's now not dangerous because the gas is completely off, um, it's just kind of really annoying and not great because we now have no warmth but the engineer guy could not find where this leak was coming from we've only got the cooker as a gas appliance um, and it wasn't coming from that he doesn't think so the chances are it's in the pipes somewhere and he said that that might even mean ripping the floors up the extra little cherry on top of that as well is that we're supposed to be getting the new floor fitted on friday so thank god we haven't already had the new floor fitted and would have to get that ripped up to look for this bloody gas leak but i just thought i'd share that little gem of news with you because we're gonna show the good the bad and the ugly of this whole roller coaster ride and this one is indeed pretty ugly it doesn't get much uglier than your house potentially exploding with you having absolutely no knowledge that you're in danger <laughs> or that you might have to rip all your floors up to find some pipes so uh not the best day in terms of buying a house but just thought i'd throw this in there to balance out the very lovely cute nice side of things buy a house they said it'll be a great idea they said financial stability they said <laughs> so far you lied to me sir oh god being a grown-up is the least fun thing anyway even though that slightly crap thing has happened today i still really want to show you the bedroom because honestly as much as the bad stuff is bad the good stuff is really good and i'm so happy with it it looks it just looks perfect to me it's exactly what i wanted and i'm so happy with it so let's go and let's go and cheer up let's go and have a look at the bedroom i'll show you actually I should probably hasten to add that i am of course extremely grateful and thankful that we've found that we have a gas leak and we didn't have to wait for the kitchen to explode and take half of the street with it it's just you know the feeling of one step forward oh we've painted our bedroom two steps backward into a dark abyss 
of maybe having to rip the house up to find this mystery gas leak. <laughs> so we still totally have a lot to do to the bedroom. Um, I'll talk you through all the little bits and bobs that we still really want to do to it. But even just having it painted has made such a difference and it feels so much more sort of personal and like it's really ours now and it just looks exactly, it's so weird, it looks exactly like what was in my brain. And that's, that's quite a weird feeling to like see it in front of you suddenly. I might even just feel like proper dramatic reasons. It's a, a before clip right now. So you can remember what it looked like and it just looks like ours now. And it's such a lovely feeling. So you ready? Can I get a drum roll please? And this is now our bedroom. How cute does it look? Now that we've sort of like pushed the furniture into where it's supposed to be and I've put on the right bedding and like it's all coordinated, could not be happier with how that peach color has turned out. I just think it looks so warm and inviting and cozy and beautiful. This is sort of like the stylized corner of the bedroom because everywhere else, is still <laughs> a complete shambles. And then I'll quickly show you the other walls too. So this one is now completely white, which we're really happy with. Sorry about the mess. Here's the old duvet. Here's some paints. This all looks really bright and lovely and gorgeous. Even these back corners have been freshened up and it's just made such a difference. I've even painted the ceiling. Haven't done a very good job, but it's been done nonetheless. So above the bed, we're gonna have a shelf up here with some like coordinated prints on, which I found that have got quite a retro feel to them. I've changed one curtain pole up here. This was an absolute bargain from the range. It was literally like three quid, which I'm so happy about, um, but still need to change this one up here. So that's gonna be like a brass curtain pole. And then we've got some white curtains coming to change these like, slightly hideous champagne cropped things going on. They're gonna be full length ones that go right down. Gonna get a few prints to go on here um, to kind of tie the color in a little bit, I think, and break up this load of white. The biggest thing still left is that the woodwork needs doing and having the kind of like brilliant white walls has made the woodwork, the wardrobes, the skirting boards look all kinds of yellow. So that's kind of like, you can see here the contrast between that now. That's kind of like the next job on the list, which I want to do, I want to get that painted. Don't really know what to do with the fireplace now. Do I keep it white or do I make some kind of statement color thing going on? Haven't really decided yet. If you've got any ideas for what I could do with this, I'd love to change the tiles and I'd quite like to do that myself and have a little go at tiling. But we finally have a little sneaky peek of what this might actually look like. <laughs> in the long run. So I think I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here for today, but I really hope you enjoyed this little slight bedroom transformation. I mean, we've still got a long way to go, but, oh, I also need to change the lampshade so you can add that to the list as well. The never ending list that just keeps getting pushed back by more and more boring things every day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you like the, the paint job. I hope you like the paint job. And uh, thank you so much for watching. As always, you know, I appreciate it more than anything. So I am off to wait for a gas engineer. <laughs> glamorous, glamorous. Um, and I will see you guys very soon with another video. Bye. Mwah.